While we're up here right before the metal roof goes on doing the soap test to try and find the leaks in this Mento, I wanted to make another video to talk about this roof rain screen for a minute. Matt Reisinger has a video of a, a diagonal configuration. And I saw that video, but I didn't, it wasn't really perfectly clear to me why that would be better. Now that I have done this vertical plus horizontal, I know exactly why that is better, and I will explain to you right now. First of all, what we used here is Mento underlayment with Coravent 3 8 inch rain screen, which runs this way. You want it, something to run in a vertical direction because of stack effect. If you can take advantage of the fact that the sun comes out, uh, it's going to get warm in this cavity, and then air will be flowing naturally up through here and evaporating any water that does get behind the roof is great. If we only had these things running side to side, which you could do if you're going to run metal roof anyway, it attaches, you know, it runs this way, so you need to have these running this way, but you won't get the stack effect. Only if the wind blows will air actually move through this side to side. So that's not as good. With this plus this, we've got, first of all, more material. We have the uh, challenge of finding the roof rafters and then making sure that we only screw in at the intersections. And I'm only using one by fours here. So Matt Reisinger's solution, um, which I'm sure is, he, he might not have invented, I don't know who invented this, but use a two by four and you coat the backside of the two by four with butyl tape. This right here is a one and a half inch strip sitting on top of a two inch wide butyl tape. So I don't have a lot of wiggle room there. If you've got a two by four, you got three and a half inches wide and you're going to butyl tape the whole thing. The first thing that I'd say is I don't understand whether it would be pressure treated, which I wouldn't want those kind of those uh, chemicals washing all over my house all the time. But I don't understand how you would protect this from rot uh, if it was just a bare two by four sitting here. So maybe you take a six inch strip of butyl tape and you wrap it around the underside of it. Anyway, all that is academic because I'm not doing that on this house and hopefully I don't build another house after this. But if I was to run that two by four, first of all, I got more meat to be able to attach my metal roof to and it wouldn't split as easily as these one by fours do, which does happen. And also, as you can see right here and here, you do end up fishing for where the rafter is in here because of course, when you lay your strips down, they're not gonna be perfectly straight. You could spend a lot of time marking out exactly what 16 inches on center is but if your eye joists or your dimensional lumber is a little bit warped in there or twisty, then you might lose it anyway. So if I had a two by four, I could still fish for it. And every single screw that I sink, I'm going to leave in place because it's going to be self-sealed if it's not removed. And also I would be able to kind of float around and really find out where it is. The, this being what it is, I now have only a two inch wide, by three and a half inch tall segment in which to try and angle these things. If the rafter is over here, I have to kind of shoot at this really special angle. If it was a two by four running diagonally, I could just move down the two by four and find it. So I just wanted to make sure that that was clear. I love the core event. I love this system. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt and finding these things just leads me to the, the conclusion that Matt's way is in fact better. So if you're gonna do a roof rain screen, do it that way and not this way is my recommendation. On the walls, you still are gonna need some kind of a screened material at the bottom of the top and we're gonna be using the Core Event SV5 for that. So stay tuned to see how the wall rain screen is gonna be different than this. But um, no matter what you do, rain screen is always gonna be better. So even if you do this one, you do that one, whatever it is, it will help your overall home performance because it lowers the temperature of the roof roof isn't going to move as much, you're going to get a lot more cooling and etc. So please do make sure that you comment if you have other ways to do this. Like and subscribe. Tune in next time. Ooh, ooh.